Yeah, Shalom, Shavuatuv, and Bukatuv to everyone out there. I'm Abraham Ben Abraham uh, of Jewish Nigeria blog. I'm here in Adat Israel Synagogue, uh, the host uh, venue for the just concluded 19th National uh, Youth Shabbat. And I'm here with. Ora, Yochanan. Uh, so we, we're here to give you a review of how uh, the Youth Shabbat actually uh, took place. For those who were not able to attend uh, the Youth Shabbat, I think uh, it began on the 6th of March and ended yesterday being on Sunday, uh, which is the 8th of March, of which, of course, which we saw uh, guests arriving yes, uh, on Friday. Yeah, we, we started by having guests from all over Nigeria, um, Anambra State, uh, Imo State, Enugu State, and Abuja. Yes, a guy actually came all the way from Abuja and uh, he said, He's, he's a strong man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, and then uh, they arrived. Also, we had um, um, guests from different parts of, uh, of Lagos. Yes. yes, come here. Okay. Um, then we had uh, two uh, females also, Brit and Rina. Yeah, they were here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, okay, then we saw uh, a spectacular uh, Shabbat candle lighting as usual. The Shabbat yeah. begins uh, after the preparation of the meal. Mm-hmm. There's also uh, there's always the Shabbat candle lighting. Although the female were, were few that day. Yes, very few. Uh, because before they arrived, so we don't have to wait for them to so light Shabbat like candle. Exactly. And so it was a very colorful Shabbat candle. At least uh, there were two uh, women and then two other uh, little kids and then watch them do the prayers and then light the whole candle. It was uh, wonderful. Yes, it was. It's I, wonderful. I, I, just, I just have to mention that uh, I lit the candle with Rivka, a woman from Adat Israel, and then her two beautiful daughters. Hadassa and Ora. Yes. Your name's sick. My name's sick. <laughs> so I have to put that in there, Ora. Okay, then after that, uh, we're straight into uh, the Kabbalah Shabbat. It was happy. We had a Miyam. Uh, it's always uh, good when you have a Miyam uh, for the Kabbalah Shabbat. So then, uh, the, Shabbat, the Kabbalah Shabbat, uh, we saw uh, Anambra, mm-hmm. uh, Anambra and Lagos, yes. the host of uh, Kenneset, mm-hmm. who led the prayer. After which, we now did uh, the Kiddish and uh, the Kiddish and then. Uh, had our meal, then everybody now went to bed uh, to wake up the following day, which is for the morning uh, shakarit. And then something that interests me very well is uh, the way this Jewish Shabbat uh, actually uh, will actually uh, as it goes on, whereby you have different different uh, youths uh, from different parts of Nigeria uh, mm-hmm. uh, participating in different service uh, yes. for the day. So I think we saw prayer. We saw uh, Kazans from from Imo leading prayers. Also Kazans from Ebony State leading yes. prayers. Then Kazan also from Abuja also yes. leading prayers. So I really like the way that all these uh, duties are given to different different yes. uh, Kazans from different uh, states. So that everybody will be carried along. I mean that's, that's the essence of the Yishabat. Yishabat. Then during the Diva Torah. Uh, the Diva Torah was now given by uh, Shilomo, Shilomo yes. Ben Nome, yes, who is um, one of the Kazans here in Adat Israel. And I also like the message, you know, the way it was like, like you said, that everything that happens happens for a reason. I think already knows that in this particular uh, Shabbat, uh, there will be a national Yitzh Shabbat, mm-hmm. and this particular uh, uh, parasha mm-hmm. will be read that particular day. Mm-hmm. And then the message in that parasha, I mean, it was just as if that parasha was written uh, for the youth. Which has to do with the way you dress, yeah. and then with the way how you dress. Hashem is so, it's, I mean, uh, he, he, he actually wants you to dress uh, the right way, not just dressing anyhow. Mm-hmm. So, in that message, he tried to like, advise the youth that we shouldn't, uh, the reason why most youths dress anyhow is because they actually model as they, uh, they look up to some models. So, instead of looking up to maybe some musicians and then some footballers and dress like them, why not look at maybe other, uh, other, other, other people and then and to put your life uh, that way, instead of dressing anyhow. That was yeah. a very powerful message it was. Uh, by him. It was. Then after that, uh, we saw some women also speaking. Yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most interesting part for everybody. Yes. Me especially. Yes, we had um, a very intense talk from Mrs. Onya and Mrs. Shimwell from Ulam Israel, also in Lagos. And Mrs. Onya told us that um, she believes in the power of a woman raising her kids in the way that they should grow 
and we saw uh, an example with her son Oriel, who just uh, who took third in like the national mathematics exam in Lagos. In Lagos, State. such such a young boy. I think he's he be about 10, 12 or so. You know, an inspiration to young people out there. And she used that to set an example to mothers all over. And then she told she talked to us about certain prayers. You know, the Anabe Kowak, the 72 names of God, and all those special things you should do that can open doors for you. And she taught us one important principle that anything you put out there, it comes back to you. So I got that message strongly. And then Mrs. Shime wraps it all up. Yeah, she wrapped it up. Mrs. Shime she, from, uh, from Olam, 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 Yes, yes. When she said that you don't have to live up to people's expectations. That was, that was a very powerful message. Yes, you don't have to live up to people's expectations. Do what works for you and you will be alright. I mean, it was such a powerful thing. And then something else I took which affects me personally is uh, about relationship when she was giving an advice to young girls out there. And she said that sometimes you pray for, for your soulmate and then your soulmate comes but in a different, it's given to you as a gift in a, in, in, in a kind of wrap that, that's not enticing. Maybe it comes in a package that you don't really want. So and it's you need to Yeah, don't, don't, don't <laughs> refuse the gift. You know? yes, I remember that word. Remember that word. Don't refuse the gift. Take it and unwrap it. <laughs> so, no, no. It was, it was something strong to take from these two women. And I've gotten a lot of calls and I say, or uh, women are powerful. I mean, they told they taught us something that we don't know, and we, we, you know, maybe we know, but we have forgotten. They reminded us, and it was just oh, okay. Wonderful. And then uh, the uh, the kiddush, and then the Brita Amazon. Yes. I think uh, was done by the host of uh, Kenneth Let, yes. of which uh, was uh, the leader Kish Ben Onya yes. was the person now uh, who did uh, who, who did the who did the kiddush, and then. That Brica Amazon, I'm telling you, I've never seen a Brica Amazon <laughs> okay, like please, that one I, I, I before. Just, I just have to add something there that you <laughs> and his crack <laughs> from Anambra, you guys had to jump at every part. You know, you just, you just stand up and start jumping. I jump you. His crack has a lot of energy. Please, somebody tell his crack, I don't know where he gets his energy from. Because <laughs> it's a whole lot. He is, no, he is like, he's very inspirational. Yes, he's a motivator. Anywhere you, any place you have this car and you're feeling bored, you have serious problems. <laughs> <laughs> because he makes sure you feel the happiness. So don't tell me that that Brickard of Amazon was so amazing. You and this car actually made it amazing. <laughs> no, this car actually, he prepared me to do it. We were so happy. We were so happy. And then, at least somehow, as we, we just we raised the energy, we spread this round. At the point it in time, actually, but at the point in time, mm -hmm. we're the only people who are actually standing up. Yes. The program as well. But before the end of the program as well, and again, something again, we kept repeating some part. You know, yeah, after reading it again, we, we sing it again and again <laughs> until the whole kind of after everybody stood there, up, stood up and started dancing, and dancing <laughs> in a Brigham Amazon. I did. That I was so colorful, it was so amazing. I've never seen that kind of Brigham Amazon anywhere else. You, know, you know what I wish? I wish sometimes that uh, it wasn't on Shabbat. Then maybe we would have gotten all this on film and then everybody will see how amazing it was. I'm telling you. So after that, they went, went for, uh, okay, there was no time again for break, at least some few uh, minutes, and then the Mika, uh, did Mariv, and then the Abdala. Abdala. Mm. <laughs> but I must say something unique about this youth Shabbat that yeah. is different from others. Uh, other, uh, you, you have for others you have you have the Havdala being the highlight of the occasion. You know people are always saving up their energy for you know the Havdala. But this youth Shabbat people dance from morning till night. I'm not. You were there. Yes. Yeah. I'm not, so you know I'm not exaggerating. We dance during the Torah service, we dance during the Brekat Amazon, we dance during introduction of guests, we dance and dance and dance. So people dance so much that... And they got exhausted before they have that. During half that, everybody was like, oh, <laughs> oh, you know, but uh, we, have to, we have to also dance a little. Yeah, but the half that too was... Uh, was amazing. And then one more thing again, I don't want to think, I think that the two, uh, the two separate Torah were actually brought out. Mm -hmm. We also made 
the yes. you made the targets that were just so ah it's <laughs> like something I'm not at two seconds at the same time. It was a CV to say, I mean, it's not the same car to that day where you have to bring out all the Torah yes. you know, from the ark. But that day, we had two mm -hmm. separate Torah to make the location uh, worthwhile. Then, after the Havdalah, uh, we had to have the, uh, uh, the last meal, went to bed, and then the next morning, mm -hmm. of course, we yeah. have to start our day. The morning yeah. Shakarit. Yes, and uh, that was very brief, uh, nothing very intense, just a quiet time. Went really well, and then we had the song recording. Ah, which is something song that, recording. that we've not done before <laughs> in any of the Adisha uh, bands. So we sing songs, but we don't <laughs> actually come together as a group, perform it, then maybe like uh, they put it out there. And there's also a live broadcast too on Facebook. Yes. And then I think the song has now has now been uploaded on YouTube. Yeah, so people have. people around the whole and world can be able to watch it. Uh, I think we saw what no that song again. Adon Olam. Yes, there's a very special uh, melody. I'm not going to repeat it so that you guys can go watch it. Yes, on YouTube. That on YouTube. And then while, while you go on YouTube, you take the opportunity to also subscribe uh, to the YouTube uh, channel because we'll be, we'll be posting so many uh, videos yes. uh, now. So on you get YouTube. them. Yes, yeah, so after that, then the general meeting. Yes, in the general meeting, we talked about how the youth can move forward and um, we talked about how we can make the youth Shabbat, how we can make the seminars uh, to be productive. And um, we, we, we said, we, we, before, when, when this started, it was about getting to know each other. Yes, for us coming together. And then now it seems like it's not enough. Hmm. So we said, it's, uh, we've set short-term goals, we need, to, we need to set long-term ones. And that is where Unlocking the new phase comes in, which 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 was the theme of this youth Shabbat. The 19th National Youth Shabbat. Yes. Unlocking the new phase. The new phase. phase. Yes. Now we've known each other. I know a lot of youth now that I don't know before, thanks to all the guys from Israel and all the people, the coordinators from you know Nigeria, and uh, it's it's time to move forward. Which we're talking about the work of our hands, you know, getting a source of income for ourselves, and uh, for me to talk about this. Briefly, I'm going to give a little bit of myself. Now, uh, Amora, and in this community, right where we are sitting, told you I slept on this floor at some point in my life. No. Yeah, with my parents and my siblings where we were, where, when we were homeless. I slept on this floor. And today, I'm jumping on the floor, you know, welcoming and celebrating with people from all over Nigeria with Sefetua, with you know, with so much simcha. And it comes with uh, it comes with hard work, it comes with a vision because I, I always say it, Michelle Obama, she said, when you take away the hope and the vision in a man, you've killed him completely. So we have to know why we are doing this. It's a powerful message to the youth. You have to know why you're gathering together. You know, look at this event as a source of getting something for yourself. Of this, you know, you have to look for elements. Look at the youth Shabbat, what can I get from there? You, you are a tailor, bring in your wonderful designs. You have the platform. Do you know how many we are as youth? So many. Many. We are so many. So, bring in your wonderful designs to the youth Shabbat. You know, wear it and come. People look, ah, I like this shirt though. I met a fashion designer yesterday, would you believe it? Right here, we are taking pictures like, this guy is a fashion designer. Like, it's, it's, it's a lie, it's not true. The fashion, he designed this dress, he said yes. I took a picture with him, and now there's potential business there. He's, he's selling his brand. Do you know how many people contacted him yesterday? That's what we are talking about. So we gain from, that's what unlocking the new phase is all about. Okay. So, yeah, we are talking about building our own brand. So let's let's come together. Let's now. Okay, I'm going to uh, just use the opportunity to make this announcement. Okay. That yes, that we are currently working on. Okay, what we are talking about on bringing people of profession on board. So if uh, whatever thing you have, if you're listening to me right now, whatever thing you have, whatever profession you have. Just contact me, and uh, we start work from there. I'm taking the, I've started compiling the list like from yesterday, okay. and yes, it's, it's going to continue. And so we are going to be linking each other up. And then there are so many packages I'm not going to talk about, but just.
call me on my phone I'm always available or send me a message on WhatsApp I listen to you you bring me give me your proposal what you do we are taking it I'm telling you this is moving forward I want to do unlocking the new phase is what it's about so unlocking the new phase is now all about uh, helping the youth uh, to take them from where they are yeah and take them to where they want to go to exactly that's beautiful that's, that's beautiful then okay that meeting was uh, the end of the Shabbat uh, which is as usual every Shabbat actually ends with general meeting because there's no any opportunity to once you get the youth from all over Nigeria into one uh, particular location after the Shabbat they use that opportunity to do a meeting where they discuss most of their problems and then provide solutions uh, to all of them and then after that which was which all this happened yesterday and today all the youths uh, they won't come as so yes. speaking now most of them they are on, on their road. way back to Abuja safe back trip. to so wish all of you uh, a, a safe, safe trip. country back to your destination yeah. and then for today uh, which is the feast of Purim uh -huh. let's not <laughs> so try this one <laughs> going to be wonderful. Okay. Ah, this one has caught though. Yeah, you saw that one there. Okay. Ah, don't do very so, fast. Yep. And then we are we are going to look about uh, look into the feast of Esther. Yeah. Uh, and yes. Esther. Don't forget we're fasting, okay? Yeah. We're fasting today. So this we is the feast of uh, uh, Esther. It's, it's not the fast where we are sad. It's the fast <laughs> where we are actually it's very happy. happy. Yes, yes, happy fast. Very happy, happy fast. fast. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I think uh, on that note, uh, we'll conclude uh, um, today's uh, interview review on the just concluded 19th National Youth of Math. So we say, Hasagnyak uh, Purim to all Jews uh, in Jewish Nigeria and all Jews in Israel, in UK, in America, and every part of the world. Hasagnyak okay? Purim.